Helen had uh, thought about a set of vestments as a fitting tribute to Douglas um, because of his love of liturgy. And she um, had been thinking about it for a while and, and approached the dean and asked if the cathedral would be willing to receive a set of vestments. Um, and then in, invited me to, um, to design and create them. Some of the idea had come from um, previous work. The Prayers of the Church project had been created as a community art project, and one of those processes was to invite members of the community to write out their favorite prayers. We have a long tradition of familiars, collects, psalms that we say over and over again, um, both in contemporary language and in Elizabethan ang language. Helen um, invited uh, members of her family and extended family and circle of friends um, from all of their stages of life and ministry to write out prayers in addition to the cathedral community. There's English, there's Latin, um, there's uh, a whole variety of hands, and in a couple of cases there's actually the same text um, reproduced with two different people's handwritings. I, th I love the idea that the same prayer has a different character when it's prayed by a different person. The other two elements are the, the Lenten rose in gold. Uh, the interior part of it also has a cross in it and you sometimes see as on the bottom of the stools and on one of the um, uh, gospel book covers you'll see just that cross on its own. Um, those are inspired by some of the historic stenciling that is unveiled in the East Vestibule. So once that's digitized, I send that file to a printer and get output, and then I use that image to create a silkscreen with a photosensitive emulsion on a silkscreen. And then that's what I print with. And I just keep printing over and over, turning the screen around. Uh, printing another layer of text um, and working, just working between a number of different screens. The stenciling in the background is actually done with a stencil. So it's done in layers, so starting with the motif, masking it off, adding the, the stenciling, masking that off, adding the background stenciling. So it takes quite a, it's quite a number of processes to get it all looking just right, and then they all have to be cut apart and sewn. And, uh, all of, the, all of the finishing is done by hand. The actual process of sewing a stole together takes between six and eight hours. Um, some of the other pieces are smaller and could be done a little bit more quickly. Um, the chasuble, because it has a curved hem all the way around the outside of it, that's done by hand, not once but twice. And it takes me about two and a half hours to go all the way around the circular hem of a chasuble. All of my work, for most of my um, my working time as an artist, have had spiritual connection um, to to the work. So um, it's kind of deeply embedded in who I am as an artist. Um, my spirituality is is embedded in that. I'm a cradle Anglican. Um, I understand Anglican liturgy and worship. Um, I understand the role that good vestments and textiles can can do to create the right sense of worship. Um, and for me, it's about groundedness of that in community.